assalamu alaikum i am nahid rayan and this is our third year second semester project in this project uh, my team member ashraf Jaman abir has helped me to build this rsa encrypted based chat app so hearing this you may say wait a minute what's so new about it uh, so there is nothing new about it it's a basic rsa based chat app but uh, one thing you could do is that you could manipulate the private key you can change and edit and delete the private key as per your requirement so in this case it's a new thing due to our time constraint we have used rsa since it's uh, not that complex and it's a very simple algorithm but uh, for group to group chat we have to use uh, like diffie hallman algorithm you could use diffie hallman algorithm if you want but we have used uh, the basic level of rsa encryption here just for a proof of concept in the first part of the video i will show you the uh, demo part and in the second part i'll show you how to set up the database and uh, vice versa uh, and uh, how to set up the collections uh, in firebase i mean firestore now at first we'll see that uh, we'll just open the app and you could see that we have a wonderful hello screen and now let's sign up a user let's say the username is abir and we'll give an email address let's say limp life at gmail.com and now let's uh, give a valid uh, operator number mobile number now let's tick on the i have everything button and click sign in now you would receive an uh, otp code but uh, for testing purpose we have set it to one two three four five six now here you can see that we have created a user and the key is being generated the public key is uh, on on our database and the private key is uh, on the app itself and here you can see the people screen and the people who are connected to this specific user and here you could see that uh, the profile page here you can see the public and private key the private key is only saved in the device itself and it's not in our server now let's make a group uh, let's say new group and we will open a second uh, device and let's say group name is test 2 and we'll say add and now since we have opened a new group but we don't have anyone in that group now we have to add some members so let's say uh, add a friend and we have to add his or her uh, mobile number which will be used as their ids now let's add the mobile number and let's click on the add button now on the left of the screen you could see that uh, we uh, have been added the second device has been added to the uh, group now you could just say hi and everything is into an encrypted the messages in our database is fully encrypted we can't decrypt the message with uh, with any type of methods only the decryption is possible with the uh, private key that is held in the device itself so it's impossible for us and if the user wants he or she can delete the private key and as a result uh, uh, anyone who uh, anyone could not uh, just decrypt the message now let's see uh, in our profile page here you could see that we have three buttons we have copied the uh, private key now let's uh, paste it somewhere safe now for example let's say uh, in our uh, Google Keeps, just paste it in our Notes app just for showcasing. See, we have just uh, paste, uh, pasted our uh, private key. Now, let's go to the app and delete our private key. Now, since our private key is deleted, now we can uh, if anyone gets um, our device, he or she can't uh, decrypt our messages. Here, you could see that it's just loading, but nothing happens the reason is that uh, our app can decrypt the message with the private key now let's again go to the settings page let's again go to the settings page now 
uh, see uh, we have our private key now we will just add the private key paste and we will just add update and after updating the private key you will see that we have mm, a message that our private key has been updated and now mm, you could see in, in the groups that everything works as intended and on the right side of the screen you could see that and the people that are connected to that specific uh, user uh, and uh, if those people are online or offline we could see their uh, status too and in this way this uh, app works and if we we could see that uh, since the user one has gone offline and we could see on the user two page that uh, the user uh, one is offline and when he comes to online we could see that uh, he's also online mm. now there are some other things also like privacy page security page and uh, uh, we have our privacy policy and we could also report a bug and send feedback through this app and now we'll be discussing uh, the back end of the project and uh, how we have distributed our uh, collections and documents in firestore now we'll be seeing uh, the back end of the project that is uh, how we have uh, distributed our collections and documents uh, in the firestore database now in the firestore database we have uh, three major collections that is user group and uh, messages and we would be using this messages that is into end encryption uh, now in the user section each and every user would have a uh, uh, the user is not auto generated uh, its uid is not auto generated it's actually we're using their phone number since it's unique to each and every user and each of the document would have a um, some metadata that are uh, that is like display name emails and groups uh, he or she is associated to photo url uid that means the user id and the public key and in the group sections here we could see that the group id is auto generated and each and every group would have uh, the uh, following metadata that is uh, created at created by and uh, an array uh, such as members uh, id modified name recent messages messages and the type of groups uh, and the users in uh, here you can see in the members section we have an array so in this array each and every user id would be available those who are connected to the specific group and their public key would also be available through this public key we would be able to send uh, private messages uh, to that specific person uh, now in the messages section uh, for the end-to-end -end encryption uh, we could see that uh, the group id is uh, actually uh, auto generated uh, sorry not auto generated we would have a group ID and uh, every specific group ID is uh, 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 the name w w would be derived from here from this group so since it's a NoSQL database it's kind of uh, a little bit hard to explain it in person and each document would have a collection inside of it and those collections would be the user ids so uh, you could imagine like each and every person inside a specific group would have a personal uh, inbox it's like a personal inbox in each and every group so uh, as a result each and every person will receive a personal message uh, that is uh, encrypted for him or her and uh, those personal messages would have some other metadata such as messages text sent at sent by etc uh, and uh, if you see uh, in the firestore database let's see if we have available <coughs> so in the firestore database here you can see that we are loading up the firestore database and our uh, in our uh, app uh, in the firestore database section 
in the file store database section let's see and so here you can see that we have uh, the groups chats and group metadata and users so in the uh, users sections uh, here are the users uh, and their uh, associate metadata display name email groups and uh, their associated friends or family members photo URL and their public key we don't store their private key that's the main part we don't store their private key as a result uh, we can't decrypt the messages and in the group section so we have uh, uh, documents and inside in the documents we have their metadata uh, the members and their other things also uh, for example in the test two sections we have two members and each member have their public key and their user ID and public key and the user ID and the modified date and other metadata also and in the group metadata sections uh, we have uh, a group name this is actually used for the main screen actually uh, group name and uh, the associated uh, groups now in the chat section now in the chat section let's go to go to the test uh, test chat and inside each document you could see that we have an individual a personalized uh, inbox so in each inbox you could see that we have some messages so these are the messages and each of these messages is, are encrypted so here you can see the message text and it's totally encrypted we can't decrypt it the only person that can decrypt this message is the user itself so in this way this uh, our uh, in this way uh, our app works so at last we could say that we have learned a lot while making this project we have learned about the flutter framework how the rsa works how the encryption works and uh, 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 the complications behind this type of projects and uh, it would help us to build better projects in the future and i hope you like it and please subscribe if you want to see more contents uh, like this